In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the vector dot product and cross product using a Casio ClassWiz calculator. And we're going to look at a worked example today. So we've got vector A and vector B, and our vector A is simply going to be 1, 2, 3 to be simple, and vector B is going to be 4, 5, and 6. And to find the dot and cross product, you have to first put your calculator into the correct mode. So we're going to look at vector mode. So we're going to press the button here for menu. And then if you go down, you can see you've got option five, which is vector. So we press five and we're now into the correct mode. And this will let you define the vector, which is our next step. So we're going to define vector A and then define vector B to input these values into the calculator. So let's select option one for vector A. Then it'll ask for the dimension. We've got three numbers in each of the vectors. So we're going to select option three. So that's three for the dimension. Then we are going to input the vector. So we've got one equals two equals then three equals. Once you've put in your first vector, you have to press AC and then that brings you to this screen and you can see that vector is shown telling you you're in the right mode. To enter vector B, you have to follow a slightly different process. So you select the option button here. Then you have to go back into define vector on option one. Then that gives you the chance to define vector B, which is on option two. Then we can select the dimension. Again, this is going to be three because we've got three numbers. Then we can go four equals five equals six equals. And as before, we press the AC button and then we come back to this screen. Now we can do the calculation. So let's start by doing the dot product. So we need to recall vector A and vector B from the memory and access the dot product function. And to do that, you press option. Then three will bring up vector A and it shows you VCT A. We want to see VCT for vector A dot VCT B for vector B. And so we need the dot. So we go option. Then when you press down, you can see dot product here. So you press two for dot product and you can see the dot has appeared. Then you go back into option and then you can get vector B on option four. And so you've got vector A dot vector B, press equals and there you get your dot product, which is 32. If you want the cross product, all you need to do is simply change that dot to a multiply. And when you go back to here, you change that to a multiply, and then you press equals, and that's giving you your cross product. So I hope this video was helpful to you, and you can now find the dot and cross products of vectors with your ClassWiz calculator. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.